you around? Federal Bureau of Control, how may I help Are you? I need those field reports okay. typed up and in management's hands first thing the tomorrow. The Bureau's the best at what it does. Protecting everyday Americans from foreign threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming when she should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. Not now. I'm busy. Come back later. Sorry. Sorry. Just waiting for my mail. Just leave it on the desk there, please. <clears throat> See, you're the, uh, you're the new girl, right? Well, welcome to the Bureau. We're glad to have you on board. And you should be proud. We do very important work here. <clears throat> oh, and don't worry about starting at the bottom. I wasn't always the director, you know. My uh, bureau career began as a, a lowly agent. Those were the days. <laughs> I never dreamed I'd one day be sitting here, an old man in this big chair. Like they say, when you're when you're pushed upwards, you end up out of your comfort zone. <clears throat> Please take the outgoing mail as well. Thank you. Very good. You better run along now. I have a lot of work to do. Important bureau business. Oh, of course. Right away. Right away. Thank you, Thank Mr. Director. What? What is happening? I don't like this. No, this isn't me. I'm not me. I can't. Oh, I've forgotten something. I can't think. Oh, I'm lost. Can you get out? Oh, where are you? I can't feel anything. I I don't want to be alone here. Where am I? What is this? Why won't it end? Wake up, please. I want to go home. You should keep trying. You are getting closer. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. around. 
exposed to Hedrin's resonance. It controls him now. It controls everyone who wears the amplifier device. I ordered them not to use the damn things. They didn't listen. Hedrin corrupted the Bureau. They'll never be people again. They're either dead or they're monsters. I'll stop them. I have a secret ally, the Nostalgia Department. I have my own slide for the projector. I took it, a memento, in ordinary, after the girl burned them. It's burnt, but it'll work. The hiss will save us all. I, um, lost my train of thought. I, I, um... It, it's confused, like uh, somebody uh, switching channels too fast. Uh, I, I see so much, but it's, it's, it's too fast. On the expedition through the slide, something got into my ear, and it hurt at first. But then it didn't. It, uh... Started as a, a distant whisper. Like something you hear in a, a dream. Like a faraway voice calling you to wake up. I'd open my eyes with those, those words still on my lips. See, in the dream they had made perfect sense. But awake they're like a, like a foreign language. Already forgotten. Then the sense of loss hits. Like losing a child. Like losing yourself. You see, I was being taught a song. A poem. A prayer. That would light up my world and, and make me break through. Make all this pain worth it. Something once lost was found, and it made a home in me. A spring with, like, waves carving me, I mean, making me see. And it grew until it filled me. And I receded deeper into myself, into this office, locked in, in this oldest house, which is Aging mind. I stared in awe through the people, and I was filled with knowledge and made better. You know, I uh, often feel like I'm <clears throat> being watched. Yeah, like there's someone watching me. They can see me, but I can't see them. I remember it was like, like this dream I had last night. See, there was a, there was this man mm -hmm, here in this very room. And then, well, sometimes he was a, a plumber unclogging the drain and well, because there was a fish stuck there. Yeah. 
a big fish. But sometimes he was he was an old god, you see, and, and he had put the fish there in in the uh, the first place to uh, well to, to, to keep the waste. The, there was rising waste uh, from leaking out, so he was um, oh he was he was conflicted, but he but but he knew many things. But he was, he, he was also sort of senile, like me. It, it was more like a, it was like a, a riddle or, or, or an omen. It, it wasn't a very good one or, or an interesting one, but, but I, I get so confused so easily. I, um, it, it's, it's so very hard to, to follow every, everything that's happening. I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. This is all inside my head. The hiss burrowing in. I'm trapped in here. What am I doing? I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. <laughs> Welcome back. I knew I chose a good assistant. I need my gun. I know what I must do. Start at the beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am the director. Hello, this is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news, Hedron is gone now, but it was not a source, it was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the end game. It will be revealed. You, I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there 
There's something. I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through. Connecting. This is so weird, but it is my... Grow brighter around one constant. They revolve. Hedron is dead. You're alive, here, in me. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there. And she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the hiss. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the hiss. Just like that. With Hedron dead, the hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. 